Shaylee. If you're new around here, if this is your first video, or thank you for coming back. If this is not your first video, I'm creating a series where I'm decorating my baby's room. We don't know if we're having a boy or a girl, so we're keeping everything gender neutral. I'm about to hit 37 weeks, so it is like down to the wire. We had the, um, the shower last Sunday. It's Monday now, so like a week ago and we have so much stuff let's just take a field trip and show you so right here this is the baby's room right there this is all the diapers and the wipes stacked up here that we got don't mind we just got back from our baby moon so my suitcase is here this is all like baby gifts oh my goodness this is so cute isn't it my parents got us this halo bassinet with all <laughs> These are all the little stuffed animals from the shower I put in here. And these are all the books that I'm gonna organize in a minute. And then we got a couple things over here. Almost everything in the room is done. I'm gonna show you what we've done because it's been so long since I've actually made this vlog, but I've been recording it along the way. Like we installed the light up here. So this was probably about a month ago. I wanted the light fixture, as you can see in the middle of the room where there's not already electricity. <laughs> so not only did they have to hang the light fixture, but they had to install that line right there so that we could actually get power to it. Danny was up in the attic. My stepdad was on the outside helping him feed it through. They are absolute rock stars. I love it. It looks so nice and I'm so grateful. Another new thing is this sunshine wallpaper. Oh my gosh, this was one of the first things. This was actually the next thing we did after paint. It was the theme for the whole room with sunshines. I got it off Etsy. I love it above where I'm gonna change the baby. I just think that is so cute for baby G to look up at. So I will link it down below. And there's Miss Gracie. We did curtains. <laughs> We've just done the rug in here. I got a beautiful dresser from my friends. They flipped it for me. I found it used on Facebook. So I'm gonna tell you guys about all this stuff. Danny and I put together this little crib. This is from an amazing company called Nestig, and I am so excited to tell you guys about them. Like I said, I've been recording it along the way. I just haven't actually sat and talked to you because I've just been trying to do stuff after work or whenever it was convenient, you know? So I don't even know how this vlog's gonna go. It might seem really out of order. If it does, I'm so sorry. Thanks for watching and hanging out. I think the last vlog, literally all we did was paint. So a lot has changed and it's just time to get it together. It's time to get it together. I think I'm just gonna start with the bookshelf that I wanted to do today. Danny put it up, my stepdad and him the other day. I love it. I had to freeze frame this and talk about the fact that I forgot to brush out my dry shampoo in the back. <laughs> so you're going to see it the whole video. That's what that is. I was like, what is all over the back of my head? It's my dry shampoo. So I'm already getting ready for mom life, you know, just not washing my hair, I guess. Um, I think it's so special that Danny made them. We asked for books instead of cards at the shower that we just had. If you've been in my house or seen it on Instagram or anything, you know I love like organizing by color. So like my cookbooks are rainbow, my own books are rainbow, like downstairs in the bookshelf. What else is rainbow? <laughs> oh, the glasses in our bar are in rainbow order. So I just like organizing like that. I think it looks really pretty. So I kind of want to pull all the books in today. And obviously a lot of the covers have multiple colors. So I don't know how good it's going to look. It's just an idea I have. I thought I'd play around turn on some music, make a cup of tea, coffee, whatever, and just kind of sit and relax and look through all of them. Danny and I already looked through them, but just kind of look through them again, organize them. All right, got my water, got my coffee, got a fall candle. I love this time of year, so I just carry fall around with me everywhere. We're gonna light a fall candle because it's all about the vibes, like I said. I also do my closet by rainbow colors, like, Everything in the house is organized that way. I just think it's beautiful. So the way I like to start is by going for it kind of. <laughs> like I don't sit there and organize like all the things in piles. I'll just grab off the top and we'll kind of start laying them out in rainbow order and move as we need to go. So.
was actually literally like five minutes. It was way faster than I thought it was gonna be. It felt like we had so many books, and we do, but I guess it just doesn't take that long. We're gonna be putting up some shelves. I think I'm gonna hang on to these to put like, you know, on that maybe. If not, I can always stack them here, but they're just different colors, but they all go together. So I thought it'd be cool to keep them together. All right, so now I'm gonna share more about the crib with you guys. This is from Nested, like I said, and um, it's awesome because I found them on Pinterest or Instagram, and the reason they stood out to me is because they start out with this mini crib. This is what we're gonna be putting together for this video and using first, but they also send you like a transitional kit for a full crib and a toddler bed. So Danny went ahead and moved those boxes downstairs since it'll be a while until we use them, but I just love the idea that it's, like everything you need right away, you just set it up as your baby grows so that when those changes are happening, you don't have to go shopping for a whole new piece of furniture. Like you have everything already out in your garage and it's really easy. The one thing is you do have to buy the next size mattress for the full crib and the toddler bed. So we went ahead and just did that anyways. Nestig was kind enough to gift me the first part of the kit, which includes like all of the actual wood and the wheels and the legs to the crib i just had to buy that second mattress so when you order the whole kit you do get the mini crib mattress so that was just so nice of them and they had awesome awesome customer service sorry i'm trying to talk too fast i ended up ordering a different crib first they have four that you can choose from and then a few different colors in some of them and i wanted this one called the wave and it's really cute it's like a light wood but it just looked a little bit less mid-century modern and just more modern to me. So I just went back and forth and I ended up going with this one, which is called the cloud. And I think it just fits the bedroom better. It matches the dresser perfectly. So I love it. So I reached out and asked them if I could change my order and they were super cool about it. And it came very fast considering they are from Brazil. So they're all sustainably built and, um, you know, safety tested, all of those good things. So we love it. Here's the mini crib, which is kind of like a bassinet we're gonna use first. And then I'm sure I will show you guys when we change it up. Ellie loved it too. She thought it was just perfect. <laughs> I got this basket and I don't know if it's gonna work. Oh, it's gonna be tight. I don't think it's gonna work. Please, 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 please. Nope. <laughs> I knew it was gonna be close. Okay, so gotta find a different solution for that. And I have some stuff from the shower that I can definitely take out and put away. So I think I'm gonna start doing that. Like the diaper genie, I wanna tuck back in that corner and make sure that once we do hang stuff here in the next couple days, everything's centered. And I kind of pictured putting that back in that corner so it's out of the way. Just some stuff like that. Like maybe putting the little Moses basket up here. I guess while I'm wiping this off, wondering if I should use simple green on it, I can tell you about this beautiful dresser. <laughs> So it was all this wood color. I saw it on 530 Needs, which is like our area code, um, like on Facebook. What's that called? Marketplace? I don't really use Facebook. So I love all the little drawers. I just thought they were so cute. And so my friends flip furniture. So they totally made it cute for me. I know I've talked about them on Instagram a lot. I want to say the dresser cost me like $200, maybe $250. Way more affordable than buying like a brand new dresser. I've also seen people use Ikea as changing tables slash dressers. And that's obviously a lot more affordable, but not real wood. So I kind of liked how this was real wood. And I love to thrift and find stuff and make it new. And I love the retro look. Okay, so I'm excited about this because it's supposedly helpful with the smell of diapers. It's called a diaper genie. I want it to fit in this corner, so let's see if it does. <laughs> exactly what I want. Sorry, I'm blocking it, but I'm like, perfect. Just tucked away back there so that we can use it and it's realistic, but it's not out like, hey, I'm a diaper pail. Danny's little brother got us this. Oh, my phone keeps going off. I've got to turn it on silent. Thank you, Cody. I'm going to put this out. My sister-in-law just had a baby. I'm an auntie. And um, I know she loves her little setup like this. I cleaned out the closet, so I was able to get to the mirror. Can you see? So I'm thinking, I don't know what I'm thinking. I'm just gonna set this here for now. This is all like changing stuff and baby bath. 
so cute so i can even set this here and then maybe i can just be done for the day <laughs> I have other stuff I'm doing, but I'm saying in here. The double chin is so real, you guys. It's okay. I'm growing a baby. So yeah, I feel like with all the other stuff, this should be enough for this vlog. And I will definitely pick back up sooner and talk to you guys because I have to. I have to get this done. And I just really appreciate you watching, sharing the excitement with us, hanging out. Thank you so much. If you like this kind of stuff, I normally do um, like beauty and style and some home decor peppered in there, but obviously, baby is coming so i don't know where life is gonna take me i don't know if i'm gonna make like baby videos i have no idea but like and subscribe let me know down below what you think and i will see you guys very soon